resume recording. All right. So, uh, first of all, thanks for joining whosoever has joined. So, what is the plan today is uh, normally what was happening earlier, we were doing the straddles. So, straddles are like uh, you go on any day and uh, you sell the ATM. Uh -huh. You sell the ATM. All right. So, one second. Let me sell. This is uh, this is second of August. All right. So on the second of August, if you see thirty seven seven hundred was price. So I what I can do normally, I can come over here and sell this call, sell this put, and wait till entire day. You see profits. If you see, if I make it thirty minutes ahead, there is no profit at all at the end of the day. Uh, yeah. yeah, it is a loss. So this strategy was working earlier for us. It was giving like uh, two thousand rupees per set. So I was doing ten lots. So it was like twenty thousand, sixteen thousand per day, approximately. But nowadays it is turning into a loss of fourteen thousand. So that's why what we have thought that this eating of premium is not going to work. We have to do something else. So I have designed one strategy that is what I'm trying to discuss with you today. And it's working really, really, really good. And uh, I personally have observed that this works 90% time if you try to do an intraday, even if you are trying to do a positional thing, then also it is going to work. All right. Let me tell you how it works. So suppose this, let me tell you this strategy. This is the first five minute candle. And I will tell you how to guess the market on monthly basis and daily basis also, both the things, all right? This only on one candle, you can understand what is going to happen. So this is five minute candle. So what I will do, I will mark the high of five minute candle, first five minute, candle, and this is the low of five minute candle, okay? And what else I will need? I will need VWAP. Okay. VWAP I need. That's it. So if you see, this is the five minute candle and price gone above the VWAP. Okay. By this time, I think 935. So my basic thinking is that market is going to go up if it breaks out this five minute candle okay but what what is the issue in this let me show you this is the first breakout of five minute candle. but suppose if i buy or sell a put or buy nifty twitch or whatever i do then there is a chances then it will again dip here then i will get uh, i will get some fear and i will exit but again it was going to go up from here to you know further here. So what we have done, what we do, we just mark the first candle and wait, wait for its breakout. So this is the first breakout 940. So I'm not going to buy here. What I will do, I will wait, let it come down again. Okay. So it has come down here. Okay. So when, uh, if it is getting a support at VWAP and it is again going up, then I will buy here. This is my buying point. This. Okay, I will buy here. And my SL will be this, uh, you can say the first five minute candle low. So if you see, if you buy here, then let me show you how it has worked for you. 1150, all right? This is simple intraday strategy I'm going to share, but this will give you hints on how to uh, understand the market on a very long-term basis. It is on yearly basis also, weekly basis also, 
and monthly basis also okay so first what you have to do you have to mark the first 5 minute candle and wait for its breakout if it is going on the upside breakout there is a 100% ch chances that the market will be up okay this happens yeah. i know yeah. i am not sure why but this is how a very good uh, professional person from the us does his all trades he waits for the breakout and uh, he assumes that the if the price is above the vwap there is a 99% chances that the market will be up not down so because the first 5 minute breakout is on the upside okay so let me show you uh, if i buy at 1150 what happens okay normally there is two two things which i can do now here is buy a nifty for the bank nifty future or a sell put because selling a put is more advantageous because if market does a time pass here like this this is a time pass this whole period is time pass then what will happen you will earn the time value also by selling the puts but if you buy the nifty futures only you are not going to earn anything in this period but if you sell the puts then it is uh, like you will earn some amount over due to this consolidation also because in markets if price is doing time pass then puts will lose 10 to 20% of its value okay so that's why i prefer to sell the puts what i will sell i will sell atm so this is the price 37 38000 so straight away i can sell this 4th august one second let me change the dates because dates are not proper all right so the atm is this so i can go one below the atm that itm which is very good all right so if you see now what is the effect of selling 10 lots normally how much cost uh, you can go with the one lot also one lot will cost you only 25000 to sell one lot if you go with the eight lots or 10 lots it is just a 2 3 lakhs rupees you have to put but what is the return you see here you see uh, on this side you will be able to see what is happening all right so it's a 11th august data right it's 11th august sorry so i have to change it to the 11th august hello yeah this is the 11th august so if i do it for the 11th august 1050 sell atm this so let's see what happens so if, what is the advantage of selling the put even if the market goes down this thing happens the prices is not going to do a much reaction because it's a sold put okay if i would have bought then this might have given uh, like 1500 2000 loss but because of selling it's not going to have a much impact So you see, on the investment of twenty five thousand, you have five hundred by twelve. I think this is expiry. That's why the EK is not that good. But otherwise, it's like a two thousand, three thousand rupees per twenty five thousand by now. So if you would have done ten lots, it's a five thousand rupees by now. So it's like a three thousand. Oh, why it is? It's saying it will expire in ten minutes. Why? Yes, let's see. So by two uh, twenty six, you have a good like three uh, percent gain on your capital on this strategy. you can exit you get like 16 15000 by 10 but uh, what is our sl because sl is very important sl is this low of the candle and i will i will tell you if you go on any day like this day high and this is the low okay so what i have uh, normally what i do when it breaks out this is not a breakout proper 
this breaks out i will wait for a one pullback and when the pullback is again getting sold this is the first pullback this is the green candle when this is getting sold then i will sell here and see the follow up move after that if you see this is the first 5 minute candle or let me show you quickly this is the first 5 minute candle this is the breakout i will, uh, as i said i will sell on the first pullback so this pullback curve but it never went up so i will ignore this this uh, breakout this is the second breakout on the down side and it gone up but it should come down and break this low to trigger my uh, trade so it has not done this is also fake breakout this is fake breakout now this is the third breakout if you see this is a breakout there is a pull down and again it is going up and breaking the high of the last top so i will sell here i will sell put here and target 200 point at least minimum 200 point so 900 913 was the selling point and it came till 117 so it's a really good move you got a 200 points so if you have done this trade 1125 let me show you how much you would have got 2nd august 11 suppose let's see 11 and you sold atm that is uh, puts okay so you see in within within 30 minutes you got this much so what i am trying to say is that on the 2 lakhs if you are getting 25000 that is more than 10% within 2 hours so you will also think that there is a chances of loss also so i am assuming that there is a chances of loss also of this amount but my losses are limited my losses are limited to this uh, low all uh, the, the when i'm when i'm taking a trade over here then my sl is very small like i can uh, normally um, what i do if i'm taking a trade here my sl is the last big candle low this is the very big candle so the low of this is my sl so what will happen if the move come then the sell the option you are selling is going to give a very quick money but the, if the move is coming down this 342 is not going to give much you know uh, what is the basic advantage of selling option is that when the move comes on your direction it falls very fast but if your move is on the opposite side like uh, 342 it will go max to max 360 350 it's not going to move very fast on the upper side but on the down side on your direction it is going to move very fast that is the that is the best adva basic advantage of selling the option and suppose if market does not move then does a time pass over here so you you will again get 30 40 rupees out of this sold option because it will lose 10 percent to 15 percent by just doing a time pass so you are going to earn when it is doing good doing a time pass you are going to earn when it is going sharply on the upside or very slowly on the upside in both moves you will get the money but suppose if it is going down then you have a sl which is placed over this the biggest candle before the move or you can uh, whatever you can decide as per your point normally what people do they they give a 50 points sl 50 to 70 points in the bank nifty so if you win far, uh, this strategy you are going to win eight out of 10 times as per my experience because i can show you right away here this is the first uh, breakout on the downside pull back and you sell here first you see breakout on the upside pull down and this is a breaking of the last uh, pull up uh, you know breakout and then it goes smoothly up you see here and uh, let me show you any other day 915 this is you see it's you you see mark high mark low this is the breakout but it pulled down and then again it it didn't break the high of the last uh, pull uh, the the green candle so what i am trying to say if you understand the logic of this is this is the breakout this is the breakout this should go down you should wait for uh, wait for the the price should to, to go down and then pull up 
and break this this is your entry point you should not take a position right away when this breakout happens you should wait for some pull down and prices should be above the vwap this is the two condition if the prices are below if the breakout is coming here here and it is like here i am not going to buy because the prices are below the vwap it should be above the vwap to break down all right let me show you the proper uh, the second breakout it has done this is the second breakout of the five first five minute candle there was a pull up and then it broke in here so your target is 200 points from here or whatever you want to if you want to trail it with a 9 ema then it's your ways you can trail it with the nine moving average all right so this is what i am doing and it's really working good and if if i do it like uh, 10 times eight times i'm going to win and two times my sl will be very small very small like uh, I, if i show you very blindly then you will understand so this was the this is the abnormal candle <coughs> that means right. the game is between 3 yeah, yeah. Let, let me show you point, uh, put 300 point long ah, yes yes See, this is the, break, uh, the uh, total is normally, 500 point uh, uh, this thing and uh, normally what I see at the same time the pivots the, if the uh, if the candle is developing uh, uh, around first resistance uh -huh. then I for a long because I know that uh, by the end of the day that is uh, it will try to touch even third resistance also in a long but if yes. it is a reverse back from pure uh, first resistance to the pivot, then I go short because uh, I know that afterwards it will go to uh, what do you say? It will uh, definitely uh, uh, touch the uh, first uh, put resistance there. So I get that gap uh, between the two and there, uh, between 200 and 500 uh, long and put both together. That way. So I always see the pivot also along with that. Yeah, you can use the pivot. Yeah, you can use the pivot. The candle is developing in line with pivot or not? That is, if the pivot, because that will decide the next this thing. Direction. Will try to touch second resistance or not? That is, that is what, what is, I. Also see, what, this zoom is having only one minute. I don't know why it is. So it will stop in one minute. Oh, what I will do, I will schedule another session, maybe after one hour, because everybody will be there to understand this. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, able, yeah. I'm able to see only one minute left. I'm not sure how the Zoom policies have changed. So I will use some other uh, medium to communicate this. Maybe maybe a Microsoft, uh, uh, T, you know, Meet. There is a one application Meet. So let's see. Yeah, how yeah. It, for now, okay. I, it's going to close in less than 30 seconds, I think. So okay. uh, give me some time, maybe an, after an hour, I will try to schedule another event and we will we'll discuss the same thing in more detail and we will take a points from the other members also how they are doing. This is my way of doing and it's working for me. Yeah. And no, no, it's a correct. Your, your way of uh, studying candles and then uh, my <laughs> studying co correlating with pure is the same.